There are millions of tons of munition in our oceans. The scientists during the Kiel Munition Clearance Week clearly stated that there is an effect on the environment, on the food chain and then in the end on us as humans. We have no chance to leave the munition as it is now. We have to finally act. We have to start the remediation of the munition in our oceans. When it comes to the microplastic and the pesticides, they are already in the ocean and we cannot get rid of them because they are dispersed in, in very uh, fine areas. But we have at the moment a chance with the uh, munition in the sea, which is packed in corroding shells and in torpedoes, to pick them up and get them out of the ocean to uh, do the remediation. We are responsible, we are you know, the guardians of the earth, it's our responsibility to take, take care of, of the oceans and we put all this stuff there, we dumped everything there and it's our responsibility to clean it up again. We now have the chance um, to act beforehand, before um, the catastrophe happens. There's a good chance to fix the issue of munition in the sea until the year 2100. It's not rocket science, it's just a question of the financial and political will to act now. We have to deal with the issue on the national, the international, even the worldwide level to fix the problem of munition in our oceans. I think this conference is, a, is an excellent start, uh, getting uh, all involved together to, to get these oceans clean uh, in 2100. Uh, and that's where, where it basically starts, uh, join up, uh, team up and, and uh, work together uh, to make that possible. There's been a couple of good ideas and really genuinely nice ideas but we really need to get to a practical point of proving them and making them industrialized enough that we can repeat them over and over again to such a scale that we'll make a big impact. And I think that's going to be a significant challenge. You can't do that all at once. You need to start now and you need to start incrementally small and then once we gain experience, then we can scale up the efforts. What is really necessary is that we are now getting in cooperation with industry to develop the right tools and instrumentation for such cleaning process and the destruction of the munition at the sea. So, but industry is only acting if they have a long-term perspective. For that we need a clear political decision that we want to clean up our seas and that we want to get rid of the munition. And then I think industry is ready to get into the activity and supply the technology we need. So the most important step now is really to have a decision for a quite amount of money in order to invest in this technology. And if we have that, then we will be a huge part forward and collect a lot of more experience which we need to then scale up uh, the clearing system. So the cost that we see today might be very high, so that one is tempted to say, oh my God, uh, we can never afford that. But as the industry learns, as we get more experienced, costs come down, like in other uh, areas of environmental policy, the costs of today will not be the costs in 10 or 20 years. Large scale industrial clearing of the seabed offers a huge economic opportunity as well. We shouldn't see just uh, the risks, we should see the chances, uh, especially for Germany and uh, for uh, Schleswig-Holstein. I see uh, a very good uh, progress here with the industry uh, and uh, to make uh, it also uh, available to bring it to other countries. What now is uh, essential is that the decision makers and this, the politics from states and uh, federal government and foreign states provide the money to realize a recovery platform.
what really counts is getting our hands dirty and getting into the oceans and, and going offshore and starting to find ways of picking these things up and dealing with them in a responsible way. It will be a big, big task that's out of question, but it's a solvable task um, compared to other environmental issues where we have no idea how to deal with. Munition in the sea, it's just simply spoken a technical issue to solve it, but we need a lot of will and we need some time, we need innovation to do this.